Well, the second quarter was a pretty rough ride for car dealers as nearly all automakers were hit with supply shortages after the earthquake and tsunami in Japan. But the largest auto dealer in the country seems to have pulled ahead pretty nicely with earnings up 29% from a year ago. Let's bring in Mike Jackson, the CEO of Auto Nation. Mike, thanks for being here as always. Appreciate it. Poppy, good morning. Good to see you. So what's affecting sales most right now? When you look at new car sales, the overall industry saw a decline in new car sales in the second quarter. You guys were flat, uh, but it's clear that, that people are not buying as many new cars. They're holding back. They're fixing their old cars. They're buying used cars. What is that? Is that sluggish consumer confidence? Is that a weak job market? What is it? Well, for the second quarter and the third quarter, we actually had more demand than supply. Uh, for us, we have thousands of customers, and I think for the industry, it's hundreds of thousands of customers who have told us that uh, exactly what they want is not available at the moment or the pricing that they want is not available mm -hmm. at the moment, and they're going to wait to the fall or to the end of the year and come back into the market. And if you combine that as a microcosm for, in totality, the millions of uh, vehicles uh, customers have purchased buying vehicles during the uh, big downturn, there is tremendous pent-up demand uh, for motor vehicles, and mm. that all we need is a sustainable economic recovery. And we're on the road back to 16 million. So we're on the road. It's going to happen. There may be some detours and bumps, depending what happens to the debt deal uh -huh. uh, and some other factors. But in principle, we're on a recovery back towards 16 million uh, units. How about Toyota? Uh, given all that Japan has gone through this year, uh, how is Toyota recovering at this point, Mike? It was a massive challenge for all the Japanese manufacturers. An unbelievable, they've made an unbelievable effort to restore production. I would say Nissan at the moment is in the best position, almost back completely uh, to normal. And then comes Toyota, which has made tremendous strides, and Honda probably still has the furthest to go. But all of them are ahead of uh, what they were saying uh, shortly after the earthquake, where it was really looking like it was going to be year end before they had normalized shipments. That's now going to be by September or October, mm -hmm. fully back to normal shipments, and inventories will be in pretty good shape for year end. Finally, when you look at the, the U.S. automakers' earnings this week out from Ford and Chrysler, when you look at Ford, Chrysler, General Motors, how would you rank them right now? Is Ford still winning? Is Chrysler and GM creeping up closely behind? I think uh, the headline is that uh, these manufacturers are profitable considering the absolute sales level is still at a depression level. And the fact that this industry can make money at the manufacturer, supplier, and retail level at these industry sales was unthinkable a few years ago. So the industry is in uh, very good shape. I don't, I'm not going to get into handicapping one over the other. The analysts can do that, but uh, what I see is that everyone is behaving in a very adult way, <laughs> uh, and no price wars have broken out as they would have in the past when uh, there was an opportunity like the uh, uh, Japanese production disruption where there would have been a huge market share effort um, that didn't happen. Everything stayed rational. It's about profitability, sustainability, and that's very healthy for the industry and its outlook. Is, overall, your outlook is very optimistic. I'm very optimistic. The, the big cloud, of course, that everyone is focused on at the moment is Washington, D.C., and whether they can put a roadmap in place in a timely fashion. It may go into extra innings and give us all a lot of angst and nail-biting, uh, but at the end of the day, America usually gets it right, and I think in the end that'll happen here also. But, you know, you never know till you know.